Hey everyone, and welcome to the shop. So, uh, recently had a task that required wood burning and stencils. And I, I hopped on the old Amazon, uh, pulled up two inch uh, letter stencils, and you know, basically picked the first one that met my requirements and had good reviews. And sometimes things just surprise you so much that you gotta say something. Now this is not a review. I haven't used these enough to really give a review, but I'll just give you the quick overview and the things that surprised me. So, uh, one, this was not mentioned in the description, although you could have seen it in the uh, images that I didn't really pay attention to. Uh, this guy, made in the USA. Didn't know, C.H. Hansen is based out of Illinois. I have no idea if these were manufactured there, but uh, supposedly made in the USA, very cool. But one interesting attention to detail that I actually, uh, actually got a kick out of, metal reinforced corners on the box, both outside and inside. I mean, how cool is that? Just, who does that? Uh, I could just be ignorant, maybe everyone does that with uh, stencil boxes, but I've certainly never seen that on any other product that I've ordered. And I think that's a great touch. I uh, uh, loved that little that little detail. Uh, but other than that, uh, I mean, these are fairly basic, I assume, although I'm no stencil expert. So, uh, yeah, pretty easy to use. Uh, if you need to interlock them, they just slide right into place, just like so. Once you get them close, I found that taking a uh, small hammer and just doing a little light taps on it uh, produces the best result and gets them you know, perfectly flush. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the kit did uh, came with, you know, 26 letters, 10 numbers, uh, a few symbols, period, comma, hyphen, ampersand, uh, more than I needed for today, but uh, pretty happy with them. One thing uh, that I did find, and I think you would have to do this no matter what you were doing. So for my application, I'm wood burning with these, but I think this would be the same pretty much uh, no matter what you were doing. So when you set this down, you know, these are not perfectly in contact with your piece. I mean, you have to apply pressure. So if you were painting with them or something, I assume in order to not get overspray or I guess maybe under spray. In order to not end up with paint underneath your stencil, I think you would need to to apply some sort of pressure. Now, granted, with paint, you could probably do that by hand. Uh, since I was using fire, uh, I had to come up with something else. So what I did in my application was just take some spring clamps, remove the little rubber ends, obviously, and then just clamp this guy into place. Same thing on the bottom. Just so that you keep that contact point tight. Uh, then from, for what I was doing, just take your torch and uh, slowly heat it up. And one nice thing about these little brass stencils, they do dissipate heat fairly quickly. Uh, not quickly enough to touch quite yet. Uh, and there you have it. So they work pretty well uh, for what I was doing, even though I'm quite sure that the manufacturer does not recommend them for this purpose. Uh, and yes, there is a fire extinguisher behind me. Uh, so yeah, first impressions. Like them. I, I suspect I will be doing this again, and I'm, I'm really happy with these. I made forty-four dollars. I, I don't know if that's a good price or not. Uh, seems maybe a little expensive for what you're, you know, really getting in material. But the fact that they worked, I, I'm quite happy with them. Uh, very happy with the purchase. So uh, stand by for a, a photo of what I actually did with this uh, and uh, recommended purchase. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. Till next time, farewell.